Mr. Chair, the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion works to ensure the Department of Defense and our armed forces reflect the face of the nation that they defend, which they have not always done. The office promotes a DOD culture of dignity and respect that values diversity and inclusion as a readiness imperative because the character of warfare is changing and with the rapidly evolving threat landscape and unprecedented times facing unique challenges from global pandemics to escalating climate crisis, the DOD and our armed forces need diverse perspectives, experience, and skill sets to remain a global leader, to deter war, and keep our nation safe. Um, and I reserve the balance of my time. General. Our strength of our military is the people. And the people bring with them the sum of their life experiences and perspectives and what they know. In my family, I had several uncles born between 1918 and 1938 who served during World War II in the Navy in a segregated unit where they were not allowed to fight. They were only allowed to cook because of the color of their skin. And the stories that they told their children about the indignity they suffered from their fellow service members and superior officers, do you think any of their children wanted to serve the military? There are countless stories like that. Because as we see people who did not live under Jim Crow dying off and those stories are not being told, People don't understand that a legacy of 300 years of slavery and Jim Crow did not go away with the wave of a magic wand. When people show up and see people from different backgrounds, different colors, different religions for the first time in the military, which does still happen, they bring their life experiences and what they know and sometimes have trouble understanding and respecting the different life experiences of other people. And DEI programs are designed to help bridge that gap, to help increase recruitment by making the descendants of people who were discriminated against when they served in the military actually want to join. It makes sure that everyone who does join is treated with the dignity and respect they deserve as people who are putting their lives on the line for every American. This amendment should be defeated. Many. Diversity recognizes that a wide variety of opinions and people that reflect the diversity of the country that our armed forces uh, defends is important. Equity ensures that 400 years of the impact of slavery and Jim Crow that didn't go away with a magic wand when laws changes are addressed. Inclusion ensures that everyone in our armed forces is treated with the dignity and respect that they deserve given the sacrifice they are making. These efforts to undermine DEI in our armed forces are counterproductive, dangerous, and will not help with readiness, preparedness, recruitment, or retention. And that is why this amendment, as well as the next series of amendments that we will debate, should, must be defeated. I yield back.